Look here, the, the bolt, I stretch the wall out. It's doubled, it's double layered. I folded it over and I matched the ends. At the very beginning, I cut it off so it was square. And I'll go along the seam and match the seams up, shake it a little bit so it all falls into place and put it on the cutting board. The cutting board has lines on it to line up the wool and try to make it square on the lines. It will be easier to, the end product will be square that way. Put these five pound weights on there to hold it in place as I make the final adjustments. Then this guide I put on there, and they're two inches, so go from one to three. Put the cutting guide on there, and there's a three on both sides of the cutting board. One here and one over here. Doesn't have to be exact, but close. I put the weights on there to keep everything in place, and the sandpaper type uh, stick-on helps keep everything from moving. Uh, applying pressure to the cutting board, and a good amount of pressure on the cutting wheel. Just use that as a guide. Cut it on down. Make however distance you want. Take it off and put on the stack. All right, then I move the weights down, keep the wool so it doesn't move, and move this down to number, it was on three, so it got on to five, so two inches. Do the same thing again. Put the weights on there to keep everything in place. Take the cutting wheel and cut along the guide. Take that off. Put on the stack.